ask if you will sort of help. <laughs> My position, which I've been developing over the past um, years, is that animals have, I, I take an animal rights position. People initially think, well, you know, animal rights and they can drive cars and you know, how you know, give them the right to vote and stuff. No, it's not about their driving cars or having the right to vote, although we would probably all be in better shape if they could vote. But um, uh, it's about one right, the right not to be property. And you know, they, if animals are gonna matter morally, if they're gonna matter morally, they have to have that one right. Now, let's look at this in a human context with assumptions. Irrespective, we have lots of dis d debates and disputes about what rights humans have, and there's a lot of disagreement about this. But whatever level of disagreement we have about what rights humans ought to have, we are all agreed that humans, every human, should have one right, at least one right. They should have more, but they should. But we are in agreement. There is no disagreement about the fact that that all humans should have one right, the right not to be used as property. We regard that as, as, as the, the minimal level of protection that you have to have in order to be a member of the moral community. Without this right, then humans are just things, okay? They're not persons, they're things, they have no inherent intrinsic value, or intrinsic value, they are simply property, they have only external or extrinsic value, they are nothing but resources. Having this right for humans is a prerequisite for moral significance. If, if, if humans don't have this right, then they're not members of the moral community. And we recognize that. We can, we can have all sorts of debates about whether people uh, have a right to health care. Uh, most people in this country think they do. Most people in the United States, I'm not sure what they think. But, but um, you know, we're certainly not an agreed upon thing that people have the right to have health care, uh, and, and you know, we have debates about capital punishment. We have debates and disputes about abortion. I mean, all sorts of things. There's all sorts of dis we have all sorts of disagreements about what rights humans have. But we are all in agreement that every human ought to have the right not to be property. Mm -hmm. We don't look at individual characteristics. We don't say, well, you know, you only get this right if you're, you're a particular level of intelligence or, you know, if you're beautiful. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't depend on your individual characteristics. It's something that you have. The only time it becomes an issue is in certain cases, for example, if somebody is literally brain dead, they are in a coma, it is not likely, or it, it's very unlikely that they're ever going to regain consciousness, or in the cases of, in the case of fetuses. You know, we have these, 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 these borderline questions where we say, well, is this something that should be given personhood status, which is simply another way of saying the right not to be used exclusively as a resource, or, you know, is, is this a situation where that concern doesn't kick in or kick in to the same degree? It doesn't give you this rough one right that you have. It doesn't give you a whole lot. I mean, it doesn't protect you against lots of things that you might think we ought to be protected against, and I would probably agree with you, but it, it gives you a minimal protection. It means you can't be used as a thing. You can't be, you can't be used as a, as a, a non-consenting subject in a biomedical experiment or a forced organ donor or a chattel slave. Okay. So you don't get much, but that's what you get. Um, now, you know, let me say, um, I don't, want to, I don't want to suggest that slavery doesn't exist. It still exists. Okay? As a matter of fact, it's a serious problem. It, man, it, it, it's, it, it's a serious problem in our world. But nobody defends it. Nobody, nobody defends slavery. It's against the law of every nation on earth. And it's one of the few things which, are, which is against customary international law. There are very few things that are against customary international law. One of them is slavery. Okay, so there's, there's a, there's, as I said, it still exists, but we condemn it where we see it, nobody defends it. It's a pretty universal thing that we think that if humans are going to matter morally, they can't be property, they can't be resources. Now, how about non-humans? Do they have this right? The answer is no, they don't. They don't have this right. They are different. They are property. Animals are property. Now, you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, I've got this dog, I love the dog, the dog is a property, I regard the dog as a member of my family. The answer is, the dog is your property. If you go home tonight and you decide that the dog is inconvenient, you know, that it's inconvenient to have this relationship, 
You can kill that dog. You can have that dog killed. You can take that dog to a, a shelter and dump that dog. You can take the dog to a veterinarian. Oh, actually, I'm not sure in Britain um, whether you can, whether you can. Uh, yes, you can. Um, you, can, you can have a dog, you can have a, a healthy dog killed. Yeah. But the bottom line is that certainly you can in the United States. And in most states, you can kill the dog yourself as long as you do so humanely, whatever that means. So, um, you know, they are your property. You know, you may, not zap, you, may, you may not see them as your property. You may see them as members of your family, but that's because they're your property and you get to value them high. That's what happens when you own something. You own a car. And you, you know, you really love the car. You take super good care of the car. You fetishize the car. You love the car. You can do that. It's your property. If, however, you don't like the car very much, or you don't care about the car very much, you have to give it minimal care so that you can get through its 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 MOT inspection. But basically, 